Have I ever prayed for protection when I enter a vehicle? No, I don't. I used to before. I don't anymore. Why? God and I cannot have an accident. Greater is he that's in me. He dwells inside me. He lives in me. How can both of us have accidents? You are acting as if God is outside of you. So you are begging. You don't understand who you are. Sit down. I want to show you you have control. I want to show you you have control. Because you will live out your life. I'm not hearing you guys. I'm not. You will complete the number of your days. God said to them in the book of Exodus, he said, the number of your days you shall fulfill. The number allotted to you, you will fulfill it. And if you're not okay, take some more. Take some more. How can you die and leave your children? Who will raise them? Who will raise them? Are you a blessing by dying? You've left the world a worse place. Some other people will have to carry up the burden of those children. And they may do it with joy and gladness. But yet, you failed. You failed. You choose not to die. Somebody choose, me choose. It's not in my hand. Let me show you. Philippians. Please hurry up. I've got just three minutes left. Hurry up. Ah. Philippians chapter 3. If I continue living here on earth, if I continue living here on earth, I will be able to walk for, uh, for the Lord. This is the man. The man is arguing. Don't remove it. If I continue living here on earth, I will be able to walk for the Lord. But what would I choose? To live or to die? I don't know. He didn't say which one God will choose for me. I said, I'm trying to find out what God has ordained for my life. I told you, a preacher said to me, man of God, leave that thing. Uh, in the New Testament, long life is not part of it. All the apostles died. I said, but Paul never died until he chose to die. John the beloved, the one that wrote the book of Revelation and the gospel of John, and first, second, and third books of John, refused to die. They fried him in oil. When the flames went out, the guy got up. The emperor got up and ran. Ran. He got up and ran. So who is that? What did John have that we don't have? He knows what I'm teaching. He knew what I'm teaching. There's an accident. He said, not me. I will not die. I will live. Is somebody getting what I'm saying? Yes. Keep that verse. Let's continue reading. Give me the next verse. I want to show you that it was Paul that made the choice. Not God. Not God. Not God. It would be a hard choice. Hey, he's still calling it choice. It will be a hard choice. Why? Sometimes I want to live this life and be with Christ. Sometimes. Not because he's defeated. You know, some people, the reason they want to live is because uh, this life is not working. <laughs> so it's just better I die. But for Paul, he says, sometimes I want to live this life and be with Christ. That will be much better for me. Okay, next verse. However, you people need me here alive. Ah! He didn't say God needs me alive. He said, You people need me. Ah! My children need me. My wife needs me. You need me. So I'm going to continue staying alive. Mark, turn to your husband or your wife and say, You need me alive. Ah, I'm staying. 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 Oh, you're not hearing this thing I'm saying. Sometimes you look at your children and say, because of you, I'm going to hang around. Kalabaya. <laughs> Shakoko Tinakata. Is somebody receiving this stuff? <laughs> Some of you, you're like, eh? Eh? Yeah, eh. Okay. <laughs> Continue. Come on. However, go back, go back, go back, go back. Go back. However, you people need me here alive. So this choice is not because of God. This choice is, 
If I walk away, you are too young, believers, for me to just disappear. Some of you will backslide. Some of you will lose your faith. Some of you will be confused. So, ah, because of you guys, you guys need me here alive. So I'm, next verse, please. Next verse. I am sure of this. So I know. What am I sure of? I'm sure that you guys need me here alive. I am sure of this. So I know that I will stay here and be with you to help you grow and have joy in your faith. I'm going to hang out some more. I'm going to hang out some more. I'm going to hang out some more. I'm going to be here. When are you going? I don't know yet. I will soon decide. Maybe when I get to 60, 70, that's when I will now ask myself, how many more years do I want to give this stuff? So I put off deciding until I hit 80. That's when I will start making a choice. You know, Give me the next verse after this. I want to share something with you guys, but I need to hurry up. When I am there with you again, you will be bursting with pride over what Christ Jesus did to help me. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. So who decides how long to live? No, I'm not hearing you guys. I'm not hearing you guys. Did you know how Jacob died? He gathered all his sons, prophesied, told them their future. You will do well. 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 Simeon, you will not do very well. <laughs> you insulted me. You will not do very well. Then the Bible said when he was done, he gathered his feet on the bed and gave up the ghost. He said these are in the Bible. <laughs> That's how he died. Charles Caps one day told his wife, call all my kids, tell them to come immediately. I'll be leaving next week. The wife said, what? He said, yeah, I'm done. I'm satisfied. I want to go. And I'm going to go on Sunday. I will go in the night. Sunday morning, I will not wake up. So the wife, this man, when he talks, he's the person that teaches the power of confession. <laughs> So the wife quickly ran and called all the children. And everybody started flying. They all gathered. Said, Dad said he's gone. He, next week he's going. He's going. So he chatted with them, ate and ate and ate. And kept telling them, by Sunday, by Sunday. Saturday night he went to bed. Sunday morning he didn't get up. He was gone. He chose when to give up. When it was over. Don't leave your wife a widow. A young widow for that matter. I didn't hear you. Amen. For your sake, Paul said, I will be around. I will get the work done. So as you travel, you will travel in peace. Amen. As you go, you will go in peace. Amen. As you journey in life, you will journey in safety and in peace. Amen. No evil shall befall you. No plague shall come near your dwelling. Amen. A thousand shall fall at your side. Amen. Ten thousand at your right hand. Amen. But it shall not come near your dwelling. Amen. Can I get a stronger amen? amen? With long life, God will satisfy you. Amen. And show you his salvation. Amen. Can I get a strong, strong amen? amen. If you believe it, shout hallelujah. When you pray, believe you receive and you shall have it. Hallelujah. Say, and the word of God says, I will have what I say. If I have faith, the super church, a shining light to the nations. The word